What is up, heroes? This is Minute Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Zero Escape for Choose Last Reward Blind. In the last episode, which was a admittedly short episode, so thank you for your patience with that, we tried to unlock a bomb and failed to do so. We had a nice little hug with Phi and then kaboomed together. <laughs> and in this episode, we only have one option to proceed, which is going to be over here. And unfortunately, I don't think my audio is working, so I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, audio should be working now, so let's uh, hop into it. The beauties of having two monitors, you can actually see that the gameplay and the audio are recording when you're actually recording. Wait, huh? You only need to search one person. What? Why? Because I figured out who did it. I, I know who did it. The words were out of my mouth before I'd even realized I was saying them. How can you... There's no way. Yeah. I met Fai's gaze and nodded, and then turned away. I know who set the bombs. That person... Obviously, we've seen quite a few of these interactions with you at this point, right? That person is you, Dio! I wonder if this will play out the exact same way, or at least, where will it where will it not be the same? Interesting. So actually, most of the experience is very similar. Like so similar that what? <laughs> Interesting. So one of the things I thought would be very different in this timeline is that we'd be able to actually, I don't know, keep the the bomb on him or whatever. But it still plays out the same way with Temyoji kicking out of his hands and the bombs activating. So how do we get to a different ending this time around? It seems like both this timeline and the one we saw last episode require that you know all of the bomb's passwords to defuse them. Maybe in this timeline we find out one of the passwords? I don't know. That's so odd. I guess both of these timelines were unlocked at the same point, so the only thing we actually needed to know was that Dio did it. And what comes beyond there, there are probably going to be different locks for each of them. But, huh. I'm really curious now, how is this one going to differ? Okay, okay. I'll give you one, since I'm such a swell guy. So just in this timeline, I guess he feels like it for the sake of feeling like it? Hmm. Yeah, I guess this is just Dio feeling like giving us a password for the sake of it. The password for bomb number two is... I guess I'll write this down because if we're getting the bomb password for number two now, right? Sorry, this might shake the microphone or whatever, but... E-Q-D-D-Y-R-N-T-K. I don't know, I mean... I don't want to have to go back to the other endings just to get the other passwords again, but... Bomb number two? We haven't found that one yet. Ah, that's right. So that's probably why he's willing to give that <laughs> in a smug manner. Be like, oh yeah, there is another bomb that you just haven't found yet. Oh? Ah, uh, well, my mistake. I don't remember, is that the one in the garden or crew quarters? I'm not sure. It must have slipped my mind. Well, there's nothing you could do anyway. You don't have the input device. We still don't know how Dio's getting through doors that he shouldn't be able to. Really, it'll be much easier if you all just give up. Where's the input device? Oh gosh, I wonder. Where did you put the number two bomb? Shoot, you know, uh, I just can't remember. You baka. Anyway, I think it's time for me to be moving on. Moving on? To where? What, I have to explain everything? To the next world, of course. No! Wait! So then this is... Oh, different than before. Oh no, it's not. Okay. So we have the usual trying to restrain Dio before he, uh... You know, kills himself. And then, how much time do we have left? About 20 minutes or so, I think. Oh, interesting. So less time than the other timeline. 
And how much time until the white doors open? Probably 20 minutes. Yeah, exactly. The same. So, what do we do? We put in those passwords and stop the bombs. We search Dio, but he doesn't have anything that might be the input device. Hmm. Well, only one thing to do then. And that is... We split up and find it. Unless any of you have any, any other suggestion. A dismal silence filled the room. Even though no one spoke, I could see despair on every face. Alright, no point sitting around. Until those things actually go off, we've still got a chance. Sigma, you come with me. We're gonna have to go look at the number three bomb. What? See if the timer really has started or not. Right. All the rest of you listen up. I want you to take Alice Quark and Dio to the Floor B warehouse. What? We still don't really understand, or at least I don't understand, why that's part of the plan yet. Why there? Just listen. Worst case scenario, we'll open the white doors and go through them to wherever they go. Maybe we'll get lucky. Understood. We will take them to the Floor B warehouse. Once we've done so, we will begin to search for the input device and the number two bomb. Good. Thanks. Okay, we don't have much time left. Now get moving. Sigma, you're with me. Fight turned without waiting and headed for the door. This is exciting. Before I could blink, she was gone. I gave everyone else in the infirmary a quick thumbs up and a shaky smile, then hurried after her. So we're really going to the crew quarters just to confirm that it's working? Right? That the bomb is blinking or something like that? Are we still going to have to know the, zero, the bomb number three password? Is that the one we got? Are we really going to have to go through that ending real quick and just to the point where, I don't know, Dio says the password? I'm gonna have to write them down or something. Hmm. The light's flashing. I guess the countdown has started. So, what are we going to do? Without a way to enter the passwords, we're screwed. Right. We'll just have to split up and look for it. I'll look around here. You go check somewhere else. Okay. If we get to T minus five minutes, then we'll be back in the floor B warehouse. Got it? I wasn't sure what to say. If we hadn't found it by then, was there really any point in meeting up again? What's with that look? Don't worry. We'll figure it out, I promise. You know what they say, swimsuits never quit. What? What? No, that's not, that's not a thing. And it doesn't make any sense. Besides, why the heck are you cracking jokes right now? I'm just, um, trying to show you that life's still worth living. Which is appreciated, a little, <laughs> little out of place, but I appreciate it. But also, like, look at that look on Fi's face. That's so awkward. <laughs> it's so awkward. We, we need to make that. We need to make that one of the um, emotes in um, the HeroNet <laughs> Discord. <laughs> look at that face. It's just how can you get past that? That's hilarious. I'm not sure if she's trying to be funny, if she's trying to be smug, if she's trying to be sincerely seductive. I don't I don't know. 
After all, if you quit now, there goes any possibility of you ever seeing me in a swimsuit. Whoa! Oh, I see. Well, I admit I am a bit curious. Alright, looks like we're on the same page. Now get moving, we don't have time to stand around. Fine. Be careful, alright? I checked the time on my bracelet as I had it out of the crew quarters and into the hallway. It wasn't good news. Darn. Only 15 minutes. I need to hurry. I broke into a run. Before long, I found myself in front of the infirmary. All too often, what you're looking for is right in front of you. We spent a lot of time in the infirmary, so it seemed kind of fitting somehow that it might have been there all along. Or maybe Dio had dropped it there recently. There was no way to know. And in any event, I had to start looking somewhere. Is there one in the infirmary? I don't remember. Luna, you're still here? Yes. The others are taking the people who are asleep to the white doors. I chose to stay here. I thought you might come back. Why? Because the Adam is here. I thought you might want to use it. Isn't that why you're here? What? I mean, yeah, I want to know what's going on with me. It's driving me nuts. Heck, I feel sick. But this isn't the time for that. Being a robot isn't going to mean a lot if I die anyway. Ah, uh, this is the timeline where... We have that moment with Luna where we have the white fluid on our hands, and she's like, Hey, and Sigma's like, Yeah, and she's like, You're a robot, right? And he's like, Oh, yeah, totally. Oh. Why did you come here then? Isn't that obvious? I'm trying to find that input thing so we can turn off the bombs. Really? Yes. Why would I lie? I see. Oh, Luna's disappointed you didn't come here to see her. I seem to have made a mistake. I knew you couldn't use the Atom without me. So I stayed behind because I thought I might be able to help. I guess I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Oh, poor Luna, no! She turned and headed toward the exit. Wait. I couldn't just let her leave like that. I sighed. How long would it take? Not more than five minutes or so. Are you sure? Only five minutes? Yes. Okay. Let's do it. This could be interesting. If we find out that the white fluid is related to the robots and stuff, it may turn out that Sigma's actually a clone of K, who could be the original, right? Analyze my body. If you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm so curious, what are we gonna find out? I lay down on the table. Luna picked up the atom scanner and began to run it across me, slowly and methodically. In a few minutes, she was finished. That's it. You can get up now. I sat up and hopped off the table. The screen was already starting to show my results. So, uh, what does it say? My eyes were glued to her face, looking for any sign of what the answer might be. She studied the readout for several long seconds before replying. Well? It says you're not a robot. Hey! When the bar is that low. 
<laughs> We're not a robot, guys. You're human. I let out a breath I hadn't realized I'd been holding. My relief didn't last long. But your body isn't entirely human. What? You're part machine. Interesting. Wait, what are you saying? Look, here. The structure of the bones in your arms isn't anything close to human. They're made out of a titanium alloy. On top of that skeleton is artificial biological tissue. It's also called ABT. Interesting. Why... why is Sigma missing his arms? Why is Sigma missing his arms? Yeah, you know, the first thing that comes to mind is that maybe they needed some degree of tissue to clone him, and that's the result of it? I feel like that's unlikely, though. I feel like it's more... Mm, more likely that it's related to some sort of accident or something that happened. Your arms are cybernetic. What? What does that mean? Cybernetic? It means a mechanical system that interferes or interfaces with a biological one. You see all these root-like things around the titanium bones? Those are artificial nerves. They're probably connected to your own nerves, which is how you can move your arms. This is interesting. How can we utilize this information to our advantage, right? This is clearly crucial info. But how can we use it, right? Maybe it's related to, well, we can cut off an arm and know that it's replaceable or something, or not our actual arm. Maybe it's related to, I don't know, some adjustment that can be made to avoid death from the, the bracelet we're wearing. That's the lock, maybe? I imagine they allow you to feel things through your arms, too. What? No, this is ridiculous. I think replacing my arms with robot ones is something I'd remember. And I know they weren't always like this. When I was a kid, I broke my arm and they took an x-ray of it. The doctor told me I had really thick bones, and that I must have done something pretty insane to break them. When the heck did this happen? Why did somebody replace my arms? A lot happened to Sigma while he was asleep, I guess. Wait. Okay, let's say you're right, and my arms are cybernetic. Wouldn't that mean I don't have to worry about the bracelet going off? No. Unfortunately, you probably do still have to worry about that. Why? The cybernetic arms are made to function just like real arms, which means they interface with the rest of your body. Which means that anything injected into them is spread to the rest of your body. How do you know that? I just... do. That's not an answer. Yes, you're right. But not everything has an answer. There are some things you just can't explain. What? Don't you know how that feels? This is actually really interesting. I, I don't know if we're supposed to read into this, as Luna has some familiarity with the morphogenetic field and the phenomenon we've been experiencing throughout this whole game, right? Or, or if it's just that, hmm, I don't know. 
I'm surprised she hasn't looked into this more or like investigated more about this. How did you know about the garden, right? Is she alluding to the morphogenetic field or is she genuinely inquiring, right? How did you know that Dio planted the bombs? Uh, that's, um... I'm sorry, Sigma. I wish we could talk some more, but our time is up. Time? I pressed the buttons on my bracelet and felt my stomach drop. Oh no. One minute? So we got this information, but we never made it back to Warehouse B with Phi. We've only got a minute left. Sigma. Sigma. There's one last thing. I was given very specific instructions. <gasps> By who? About what? Who are you, Luna? We don't know. I shuddered. Not because I was scared of what was about to happen. Because I was scared of Luna. She was calm, unnaturally so, like a machine with a human face. We were about to die, and it is, I mean, we've We've entertained the possibility of humans ma or machines masquerading as humans throughout the entire game, right? Well, since we found out about everything going on with the Golem Bay and all that. How could she be so calm? Please pay attention. It's because she knows about the morphogenetic field! She knows she can trust Sigma! And she knows she's gonna be living on another timeline. That- this is- this is totally crazy. This is very important. You must be sure to remember it. Remember? I was about to die. How was I supposed to remember anything? How does she know about the morphogenetic field? Who is Luna? This is the password. Yep. Or rather, the username. Should you encounter a two-headed lion devouring the sun, remember. What is this? GTF? DML016? With this key, the first gate shall be open to you. There you go. The other thing is, where the heck did Luna learn this? She's been given specific instructions by who, right? Whoever gave Luna the instructions knows that the Noner knows some big picture about the Noner game, knows about the morphogenetic field, and knows about Sigma's involvement with it, right? And these other timelines and all that stuff. So, so who are they? Right? And why do they choose Luna to be this vehicle? And why, and what does Luna know about that? Is she on the same page as the person who gave her the instructions? Or is she truly just a vehicle? Is she machine-like in that she's simply following orders and not questioning them? I don't know. I hope we can meet again someday. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. What? Before she could answer. The world exploded into noise and light, and I disappeared along with it. When I came to, I was floating in a field of nothingness. What? What a weird ending. Like truly, what a strange ending. How mysterious. I mean, we've learned so little about Luna throughout the entirety of the game. But now, ah, now I just want to know so much more. So I guess that's the Sigma end. And that is going to give us the information we need. We've now, I don't remember what the username was or whatever, but we should have both pieces of information to access the director's office computer. And oh boy, that's going to get us the Luna ending. I'm more curious to know about Luna than I ever have been in the game thus far. Clearly she has some connections, right? I want to find out who she is, what she is even, who she knows, what she knows. I don't know. 
so I guess the next step is jumping to that timeline with the director's office and the computer. There, in that timeline, we actually met Zero Senior as a hologram, of course. But Temyoji supposedly knows who Zero Senior is, which is crazy, right? I'm trying to remember. I think we were just before another chromatic door opening, or, or something was going on. There was a timer and a time limit, and we sent Temyoji and Quark to look there, or something like that. And they had found the hologram, but weren't coming back. So we visited the room and found the hologram activated. Meaning Temyoji must have seen it when he when we were investigating the director's office together, and then eventually came back to activate it in privacy, right? So very interesting. Very interesting. I guess that's our next step. And presumably where we're gonna find the number three bomb password and the zero bomb, maybe? I did have a suspicion that the the computer itself would be the zero bomb, and so in finding the password and all that, we would thus be finding out where the zero bomb act or zero bomb is, and that way we'd only have one more timeline where we gather the information needed to proceed in the Phi timeline, which seems to be you know the real deal timeline, <laughs> which again isn't surprising given how important Phi is and mysterious is as a character overall, right? It wouldn't surprise me that she's kind of the key to putting everything together. But wow. And then why, why does Sigma have cybernetic arms? Why does Sigma have a clone? What happened while Sigma was frozen? Why doesn't he remember any of it? Right? Unless it was all done while he was still frozen or whatever it might be. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's pretty crazy stuff, though. Yeah, so that's the Sigma end. That was a neat one. So there's the Sigma end. Now it looks like our only options are the Phi end. Or, oh, five minutes of life. This is unlocked. What can we do with the five minutes? Take off our arms or something? Interesting, super, super interesting. We unlocked this timeline, but I don't know why. I don't know how. What happened? Let's, um, you know what, honestly, let, let's let start it. I'm so curious. What? Sigma's BP is negative. Suddenly all eyes were on me. I felt their weight but stood my ground. It was the result I had expected. I took a deep breath and closed my eyes. So it's clearly whatever we learned in the Sigma End that allows us to get past this. It must be that we can literally take off his arm because it's cybernetic or something like that. I didn't have to wait long. There was a sharp, quick pain in my wrist, barely even noticeable. I couldn't feel anything flowing into my veins, but I knew it was there. First with the anesthetic soparil. I blinked and my vision started to blur. When I tried to think, it felt like my mind had been stuffed with cotton. My legs began to wobble, then gave out entirely as I crumpled to the floor. Sigma! 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 Sigma. Sigma. Hang on! <laughs> hey! Sigma. Sigma! I don't remember who did this to him, who betrayed him for this, but... I think it was... Dio? At the hands of trying to save Quark or something like that? Sigma! Sigma. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Trying to open my eyelids was like trying to lift sheets of lead. My eyes had lost the ability to focus, but I could make out a blur that had to be Dio in front of the number 9 door. Darn it. You'll keep your promise, darn it. I groaned and with a Herculean effort lifted my head, and then my sluggish body off the floor. Every step was a battle, and whenever I shifted my weight, my muscles threatened to give out again. But somehow I forced myself ahead, a single thought burning in my mind. I would reach Dio. Then, at last. The smudge of color faded into a recognizable person. I threw out my hand in front of him. Give. Give it back. Give me the medicine. Give it back. Don't act like it's yours. Aren't we supposed to share everything we find here? I don't care. Just hand me the medicine. 
I think I, I remember this pretty well. I don't want to skip, but at the same time, okay. So there's that whole deal, right? So we'll skip a little bit, and then, and then I want to check the log just to really quickly do this. So we had about five minutes before we're dead, right? How could I save myself in five minutes? And now we did get the mis or we did get the Excelivir. All right, cool, cool. So I gave a raspy, quiet laugh. Even with death staring me in the face, I seem to be determined to struggle right up until the very end. Okay, Sigma, you can do this. Clinging desperately to what little consciousness I had left, I racked my brain for any possible solutions. How could I save myself? How? There had to be something. Every problem, no matter how difficult, has a solution. There's always another option. Hopelessness is a state of mind. I just had to think. Think, think, think. If there was a way out, I'd find it. I wasn't ready to give up on life yet. There had to be an answer. Part of it might be that he knows that if his hand is cybernetic, or his arm is cybernetic, it can also be replaced, right? In the Golem Bay. Sigma, what's wrong with your hand? There's something white on it. The structure of the bones in your arms isn't anything close to human. Your arms are cybernetic. What the heck was that? I have cybernetic arms? It was both shocking and utterly obvious. Of course my arms were artificial. Titanium alloy bo bones with an ABT exterior to mimic human skin. But I had no idea why, nor did I know when my human arms, which I distinctly remembered having, had been replaced. And that flash of Luna I had seen, I was certain it had never happened. Those things hardly mattered though. If I survived, I could worry about them later. The fact that my arms were mechanical, however, that might be useful. I called up all the strength I had left and stood one more time. What are you waiting for? Why don't you open it already? What? Did I stutter? Open the number nine door. Sigma? What, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you finally gave up. Whatever. I was just about to flip the switch anyway. Then hurry up and... Hey! Don't rush me. Okay. You've got 9 BP now, right? Yes. Well, what do you say? Wanna come with? I... I... I will remain here. What? Why? I cannot abandon Sigma. Don't worry about me. Go. You have to get outside and call for help. But... Do you think Dio will? If he's the only one who gets out of here, there's no hope for the rest of us. You're the only one we can count on. I understand. Great. Glad we got that settled. Shall we go? No. Stop. Five began to move, but it was already too late. Dio grabbed the lever and threw it down. I don't understand why Sigma was so eager to have Dio throw down the lever though, right? If... What can Sigma take advantage of with Dio and K not being here? Or something involving the mechanism of the door to save himself in this moment? I don't know. Maybe taking advantage of the door closing to, like, crush his arm or something? I don't know. That's all I can think of, though.
The number nine door has been opened. It will remain open for nine seconds. It's been fun. Peace. I promise to call for help and return as soon as I can. Please, do not give up hope. Yeah, I know. Just get going already. But... Just you. Okay. Huh? As Dio turned to look at me, I crouched. Then, calling on every last bit of strength my wearied body could supply, I launched myself toward him like a coiled spring. I slammed into his legs, knocking him to the floor and wrapping my hands around his ankle, before he could get back up. Hey! What are you doing, you baka? The door's gonna close! Let go! Let go, darn it! Let me go! He lashed out with his free leg at my head. Shoulders and arms, but I held on. I ignored the pain, tightening my grip with every blow. Hey! What the heck is this crap? Why are you doing this? I kept my promise, didn't I? Yeah, so did I. As far as I recall, it didn't say anything about letting you escape. What? Crap. Stop screwing around! I have to get out of here. I'm not going to let my sacred mission get screwed up by some self-righteous idiot. Dio began to pull himself along with his elbows, bit by bit edging closer to the exit. He was headed straight through the door. But the gate was already beginning to close. With only a few feet to spare before it shut, he crawled across the threshold and beyond the door. Sigma! Stop! That's enough! Please, you have to let go. Ah, interesting. So he tried to use all of his strength to get Dio to drag him under the door and have his arms crushed in that manner? I think that's the plan? I don't know why he didn't just use his strength to get it done himself, but... The door's going to shut on you if you don't let go. Heh. <laughs> All right. See you later, Dio. Ha! You're an idiot right up until the end, aren't you? Just hurry up and die. You see that old... What? No. I... I'm going to live. What? That sound effect, though, am I right? The number nine door has closed. This ends the nonary game. Thank you for your participation. The announcer's voice grated at the inside of my skull. I felt tired, so very, very tired. I felt my eyes flutter closed, and then nothing. Do we wake up? If so, where? The infirmary! We wake up again in the infirmary! Oh man, I bet, I bet they saw what happened very quickly deduce that, well, if the bracelet's not on my now, well, if my arm's not on, and the bracelet on my arm is no longer connected to the rest of my body, well, then I should be okay. They also probably can now see my cybernetic arm, which is pretty nuts, right? I want to see how everybody reacts to, well, knowing, or just everything that Sigma just did, right? Which is pretty crazy in, and of it, in its own right. But then also the fact that he has cybernetic arms, and then what can we do with the life we have left, Right? Because this is presumably the Quark end. So now that we have the cure, we can probably give it to Quark and learn something about him. Granted, the Nonary game is over, but there was one timeline, the Dio end, where we managed to play after the number nine door closed. So I don't really know exactly what's going to happen, but I am eager to find out. Of course, though, we're going to be finding all that out in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one.
the Sigma end was really cool. And now we're getting this insight. And then, of course, we're going to finally address the character I'm currently most curious about, Luna. So, hope you guys are looking forward to that just as much as I am. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete. Thank <laughs> you.